Telephony systems continue to be an important part of most businesses' communication channels. In fact, despite all the current focus on AI chatbots and similar innovative communication routes, according to a 2020 survey by HubSpot, nearly 70% of customers prefer just picking up a phone to receive customer service. And in this world of rapid technical innovation, telephony providers are innovating too. And in this video, we're partnering with one such provider, 3CX, to take a look at their communication services platform and how, for organizations using Microsoft 365, tools such as theirs can be a really good fit to keep you connected to your customers and other partners. Keep watching for a walkthrough of how to get started with 3CX, how to connect it to Microsoft 365, and what benefits this connection brings you both in managing the system and for your end users. But before we dig in, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of small and medium-sized businesses. I'm also the author of Who's in the Co-Pilot Seat, a guidebook for business leaders on how to adopt AI technology. If you're interested in learning more about working with me or getting a copy of my book, there are links below where you can get more information. So who is 3CX? They provide a telephony system available cloud-based or on-premises that has been around for nearly 20 years and is used by 12 million users daily, spread across more than 350,000 companies. Their services compare seamlessly with a wide range of voice over IP technology and SIP trunks, and they have solutions that can scale from the needs of micro businesses right the way up to larger enterprises. And if what you're looking for is a system for 10 or less employees, and you have fairly basic phone system needs, you might even be able to use their solution completely for free. Within the context of Microsoft 365, we've previously looked here at the built-in Teams phone solution, which is an easy add-on for Teams users. But as I cautioned in that previous video, you don't have to stray far from the most pedestrian telephony needs to find things Teams phone currently cannot do. And with a basic licensing cost of $8 per user per month, there are lots of usage scenarios where Teams phone becomes disproportionately expensive versus competitors. It can also get expensive from a hardware perspective too, as in general terms, certified hardware phones are priced among the top end of similar devices. 3CX offers four different plans, ranging from their free plan that can be used by up to 10 users, up to an enterprise plan that can be used by 750 or more. Your number of users and the features you need are going to determine the plan you're looking for. But once you've decided on the set of features you want, the number of users you need, and whether you want to host it yourself or let 3CX do that for you, the price you see is the total per system. Do note that for the pro and enterprise tier licenses, Pricing is actually connected to a certain number of simultaneous calls, and the pricing calculator just determines an average based on the number of users you select. But all organizations are different, and if your needs are out of keeping with that of an average similar sized organization, you're gonna to want to pay attention to this. But remember that just like buying Teams phone licenses, what you are seeing the price of from 3CX is access to the phone system itself and integrations into existing cloud-based messaging services. If you want to make or receive phone calls, you need to add an appropriate SIP or session initiation protocol trunk service, and the pricing of this will vary depending on the provider you choose and location. 3CX offers integration with lots of providers and gives you guidance on which might integrate the best with its services. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be demoing the capabilities that are part of the 3CX Pro license tier, as this is the tier in which you can start to turn on those Microsoft 365 integration features we're going to be looking at. If you choose the Enterprise tier, you can also turn on Teams integration. Whether you just want the Microsoft 365 integration or Teams integration too, really depends on how you want to use Teams as part of your telephony solution. This is ideal for scenarios where you have a subset of users who need telephony capabilities who also want Teams as their front end of that experience, but you have a wider range of users who just need more basic phones capabilities. 
However, for this video, it will be the Microsoft 365 integration available in the Pro tier that we're going to focus on. As always, what you see is for demo purposes only and you never see anyone's private information. So to get started with 3CX, you can simply start a trial. You don't even need to enter a credit card to do this. If you've ever tried to buy a new phone system, this can be a major frustration, as depending on who you're dealing with, many of the big vendors give you very limited opportunity to get hands-on with how the system will actually work before you commit to it. With 3CX, you can completely try before you buy, which I appreciate when it comes to the process of working out whether the software is right for you. So you start off by going to 3CX.com and creating a 3CX account. And once you've done that, choose which version of 3CX you want to start with. Because I want to use Microsoft 365 integration, I'm choosing the Pro or Enterprise version, and I'm selecting the version hosted by 3CX. You then choose a host name and a domain for it to be hosted on. This will be the website through which your users are going to log into 3CX. Bear in mind that if you choose the self-hosting plan, this process will be somewhat different. But if you have the technical know-how to know that's the solution you need, you probably don't need to be following along with my tutorial anyhow. Then choose the number of digits of extensions you need. Obviously, if you only have 20 users, you don't need five digit extensions, but you should always give yourself room to grow and remember that 30 extensions are reserved for the system. Even in smaller organizations, giving yourself headroom with extensions to allow some logical organization for example, the 200 extensions are for marketing, whereas the 300 extensions are always for finance, can be a good plan. Although as time goes on with soft phones and contact lists, the importance of easy to remember extension numbers, in my opinion, has reduced. You then set up your system preferences in terms of region, time zone, and language. And once you've done all that, 3CX will go through the process of setting up your account. It takes several minutes to complete, so now is a good time to go and take a break. But while you're waiting, can I ask a favor? If you're enjoying this video and it's bringing you value, please do hit the like button to help it get in front of a wider audience. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so to see more like this. Once your 3CX instance is ready, you'll get your login address, username, and password. And if you click on the link, you'll be presented with a login window. And when you log in, you're into your 3CX system. The default view you see here is the browser-based soft phone capabilities and other options inside the app. 3CX integrates voice, video, and chat, and gives you all the capabilities you need in its browser app. But there's also options for mobile apps and other integrations to use it where you need. As the system admin, you'll also see access into the admin panel here. So now we've got this set up, why should you care about integrating it into Microsoft 365? First, it makes it easy to provision users. You can choose to bring over some or all of your users from your Microsoft 365 tenant and automatically give them 3CX accounts. On top of this though are other benefits for your end users. You can sync your contacts and your calendars with 3CX from Microsoft 365. This means that anyone in your Outlook contacts will come across to 3CX and probably more importantly, your presence will be set correctly in 3CX based on your calendar status. You can also select to enable single sign-on, which allows your Microsoft 365 users to access 3CX using their existing Microsoft login credentials. No additional password to remember for 3CX. To set up the 3CX to Microsoft 365 integration, we're going to jump down to the admin option in the bottom left. And for the dashboard view that first pops up, you're going to want to select integrations on the admin menu. We're going to select Microsoft 365 or M365 from the available integrations and go ahead and configure. You should check the phone system URL you are seeing is your own and look over the access 3CX wants into your tenant. It shows wanting to read your users, wanting to read your tenant contacts and write to user personal contacts, read calendars, use SharePoint storage and send emails. If you're happy with this, press connect and select or log into a global admin account. Double check the access at 3CX once, and if you're happy with that, go ahead and connect. After a few seconds, you'll see a screen telling you that you're connected. When it reloads into the 3CX admin interface, it shows you the application ID for your configuration. If you're wondering what this is, it corresponds to an enterprise application registration in your Azure Entra ID. 
as is the same for any time you grant an application access into your user or your tenant in Microsoft 365 using a process similar to the one that you've seen here. Now we have the connection set up, we can jump into the users menu of the admin console and select M365 from here and we can turn on the Microsoft 365 sync. We can choose what to sync, like user, photo, calendar and contacts. We can set a certain pool of extension numbers if we want to. This is also where you turn on SSO if you want this enabled. Then select the users we want to sync or all users with an exception list. Once you've added users and saved your configuration, those users will be provisioned 3CX accounts, including extension numbers from the pool you assigned if you did assign any at the top of the form. You can see here that one of the users I added was Adele. So let's jump over to her email to see how this looks from the user side. Here in Adele's email, I have an email regarding her new 3CX account and I can go ahead and jump into the 3CX system, set a password and log into my new account and I'm in. If I had enabled SSO, then one of the options here would be to log in with Microsoft. Depending on your requirements, you may or may not want this. In terms of presence awareness, you can see that Adele's presence is shown up as green or available on the top right of 3CX. If I jump over to her Outlook and set an appointment for now, then jumping back into 3CX, you can see that that presence changes almost immediately. This is great for automating things like call routing to voicemail when you're not available. Jumping back into our admin interface, you can see that 3CX offers a whole bunch of options, many of which are well beyond the out-of-the-box capabilities of the built-in Teams phone solution you can add to Microsoft 365. You have flexibility to connect a lot of different voice and chat options, to connect a wide variety of VoIP phone hardware, to manage calling rules, groupings of users, your office hours, and call handling like ring groups and queues. You also have a bunch of different reporting options. You can manage call recordings, can back up your system configuration, and there are a range of other integration options like different CRM packages you can integrate with, integration into Google, and the Teams-based integration that I mentioned earlier in the video. You could even do integrations for hotels. One of the things that I really like that you can do with 3CX that you can completely not do with Teams is I can send a chat link to my clients. They can open a chat with me as they need and we can turn that into a call directly in the browser. I very much like the ease of use of this feature as it's a completely friction free way to allow others to connect with you. The one improvement I would like to see in this feature is to allow the participant to select to have a chat transcript or even call recording sent directly to their email. At least for transcripts, this is an option in many low friction chat interfaces for customer service now, and I know it's always really useful to have these if you need to follow up later. Before we consider why you might choose to look at 3CX's solution for your business, there's other technology you might be thinking about too. Do you have an AI plan? Are you trying to work out how to get the most from Microsoft 365 in the AI age? I can help you. My one-on-one -on -one virtual digital transformation coaching will help you set your business or your work within your organization on the right course when it comes to the future of work with technology. I can dive in with you on a particular product like Copilot for Microsoft 365, or take a look at your digital transformation planning holistically and provide advice on where to focus your efforts. And now, with new booking options live on my website, it's never been easier to get started. All telephony systems have a fairly similar set of basic features. For example, making and receiving calls. But from there, they vary wildly in terms of features, integrations, whether they are locked into certain hardware and cost. In general, it's one or more of these four criteria that drive whether a system can be on the table as an option for a particular business. I made a video some time ago about the steps to go through to choose a new piece of software for your business. I'll link it below as this process is relevant to the way you should go about choosing a telephony solution. So if you're interested in a new phone system, this is certainly one you might want to explore. Hopefully this brief overview has been useful to you. Thank you so much to 3CX for partnering with me on making a video looking at their platform. Thanks for watching through to the end, 
Until the next video, bye bye.